is going and Taiwan special episode two for the week. Uh, let's see here. I, I, I went long yesterday and I might, uh, I, I might make this a little bit shorter. Um, okay. Um, China, I, I had a, a conversation this week, uh, with, with some people in, in Taiwan. Um, See, I, I'm I'm a little baby YouTuber in Taiwan. I'm a cute little adorable YouTuber. I've I've got my 800 followers. I put my video out and it gets 100 views. And 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 the the, the I've got these people love it, and um and I love them, and we chat and we in the comments, and it's 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 a little I'm a little baby YouTuber, and I get some attention for that. Now, as I'm talking with people someone asked me what I thought about the trade war. And I said, it's fake. I said, I'm going to clarify my opinion on this. And I, I told the person, I said, you can go write whatever you want, you know, write about our conversation. If you want to credit me, credit the YouTube channel. But, um, you know, we had a conversation, go write what you think, go ahead. I'm not going to pre-screen what you write. But here's, I'm giving it, you know, my side. I said, I think the whole trade war is fake. It's, it's an attempt to um, see, you know, poke and probe China to see how China responds to things. It's an attempt to provoke China into attacking us first. It's an attempt to bide time. I also think it's an attempt to, to discourage companies from being in China because China's about to lock them out anyway. Companies moving out of China, I think that's the goal of the trade war is, is to, to get companies to safety quickly to, to annoy companies, make them not want to be there so that they just automatically make the decision to, to move to safety. Cause China's, I mean, if war comes between China and the U S all those companies all of a sudden are locked down and get appropriated and all that type of stuff happens. Uh, you know, the, any Americans there get all arrested and you know, like that happens in war. So they're trying to get people out. Uh, I think, I don't think this really is a trade war that's going to erupt into a real war. It's a real war already coming and trade is just the on-ramp to it. And the thing is, I feel comfortable saying that. I feel like if that really is the plan, that saying so isn't going to mess with the plan because the Chinese Confucian hard-headed culture is that hard-headed. They're so self-absorbed and self-important and narcissistic and paranoid and obsessive compulsive. It's, it's a, it's a cultural hybrid of, of all three personality disorder clusters. If you know anything about psychosemantics, uh, I'm not an expert, but, but I, I've got this theory that, that the whole of that Eastern culture has this, uh, personality disorder mix. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a cocktail of personality disorders in the culture, in the culture behavior, not the individuals. Of course, you know, that also is another thing. But I, they're so lost in this self-absorbed narcissism that I could pull documents. I, I mean, I, I couldn't because I don't have access to it. I don't have any reason to believe other than history and my pure conjecture, really. I could just my conjecture looking at the headlines in history. But someone could pull the secret plans right out of the Pentagon. What? I mean, this isn't true. I, I don't want someone cutting this. And this, this, is not, this is pure conjecture, but let's just say hypothetically. Let's say that the Pentagon had this trade war. They were working with whatever. And let's say that the Pentagon orchestrated this trade war so that they could bide time, engage China and, and, and you know, gauge what China's response is going to be to stuff and, and, and provoke China into attack. Let's say that was going on. And there were papers to prove it. Let's say it's not real. Let's say, and someone pulled out those imaginary papers, let's say, and showed China, this proves it. Let's say the Chinese wouldn't believe it because they're so self-absorbed and self-centered. They'd say it was propaganda and Americans trying to interfere. You go away. You know, that. so I feel perfectly comfortable saying that I think that the whole trade war is fake and it's not going to interfere with, with, with any, anything the Pentagon's doing with China because the Chinese are so self-absorbed. This is the, this is the thing. Um, the Chinese are such suckers and it's all, they believe the hoax because they really believe that they're the center of the universe, literally believe this. And they believe that really, really believing it obligates the rest of the world to support them in it. 
and that if they say so enough, everyone will like them. And I mentioned in the in the in the, the, the the symphony editorial podcast this week, which if you're listening to the all podcast, you should be getting, you should have already gotten the the. the the, the, the Chinese, the reason they're arresting these Canadians and Australians and stuff is because they're trying to make U.S. allies sad that they're friends with us. But they don't get it. It's not going to work. It's, it's going to have the reverse effect. And they don't know that. And like the cat chasing the laser pointer pen thing, the cat can never figure it out. It's zero learning curve. Because they're crazy. We're talking, we're dealing with crazy, and we're dealing with dangerous. And I, I, I believe that the Pentagon, through trade and other things, is trying to escalate stuff with China. It is, it is an evil plot, and it is good. That's what it looks like to me. It is a thing that needs to happen. Because these are crazy, dangerous people in China, and they will never learn. Um, and so, anyhow, that, but that was... That was that was what I did. I didn't say the part to her about um, uh, uh, how uh, the Chinese would never figure it out, but I did say that I think the trade war is fake because we did the same thing leading up to World War II with FDR in charge. Well, this is a short day. I'm already over 20 minutes for two days. I'm going to be back tomorrow with some other interesting things about... Uh, oh, well, well, you'll see when we get there. See you then.